I met Nate through Rachel Zoe about 10 years ago. I was working for her and she said, oh, I have this friend, you guys would love each other, but you know, he's in a relationship. Fast forward years and years later, I saw him in New York. We were friends at that point and we went on a date and it never ended. Nate has one of those really rare abilities to see people the way they wanna be seen. He's so confident and strong and so sweet at the same time. So I remember thinking the first time I met him, hmm. Nate proposed to me on top of Machu Picchu, inside of the ceremonial spot where they used to hold weddings. I was not expecting it. We had had this whirlwind trip and it was really beautiful. We were with our friend Susan Feldman on a One King's Lane trip randomly for work. And I turned around and he had the ring and there was somebody photographing the whole thing. And it was one of the most, uh, was one of the most special moments of my life. Did you cry? I sobbed, are you kidding? I, I cry about everything. Well, you show, I, I didn't stop crying, that's the problem. I literally cried my way through Machu Picchu. Did Nate cry? Nate cried, actually, yeah. There is so much of Nate that I see in Poppy. Her goofiness, her playfulness. I'm much more serious, and the part that we always laugh about is that I need 15 minutes in any occasion to kind of warm up and feel comfortable. Poppy's the exact same way, so we laugh about it no matter where we go or what we're doing. The first couple minutes, Poppy always needs a beat. Poppy and Nate and I have this ceremony um, every Sunday. Poppy comes into our room. We watch Peppa the Pig. She gets two episodes. That's all she gets. And then afterwards, we go downstairs and I make pancakes every weekend. There's something about the light that comes in in the morning mixed with Poppy, the sound of her feet running on the ground and the smell of pancakes that is like a type of home that I don't know if I'll ever be able to describe. I am nowhere near as organized as Nate. Nate moves on a different timetable. I mean, he likes things now. I get organized, I get there eventually. Just not like now. <sighs> when Nate and I first met, we were on a trip to Mexico actually, walking on a beach and I, I had this whole dream the night before that I shared with him about the two of us with this little girl with dirty blonde hair, curly at the ends, um, and I kept saying her name in the dream and it was Poppy. So when we found out we were having a little girl, we both looked up at each other at the same time and said, it's Poppy. My daughter is adorable. My husband is very adorable. I don't know why they're cute, because they're just them. I'm not cute. I'm rugged. <laughs> I mean, the definition of love now for me is my family. But I think it's everything. It's the alchemy of gratitude, joy, forgiveness, appreciation, awareness, presence of mind. You know, I always thought that love was one thing. I met Nate and I was like, this is love, this is crazy, and it's an explosion. And then you have a child and love takes on another evolution. So I don't know if love has a definition.